I'd like to tell you about one of my favorite saints, St. Ignatius of Loyola. He said that we should notice God's presence in our everyday lives. He said that God loves us and wants to be with us like a brother or a friend. And the prayer that he thought was so important, he called the examine. I hope some of my third graders will remember how we closed each class with this short, simple prayer. Ignatius was born in 1491, when Columbus was sailing around discovering things for King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. He was the youngest son in a family whose castle was in Leola, Spain. This was a time of wars and armies and kingdoms and battles. Ignatius went on to become a soldier and he was a very brave soldier, but he also loved parties and fancy clothes. He even one time got arrested for fighting in the streets. While he was a soldier, he was injured in battle and his leg was shattered very badly. The battle was against the French and the French thought he was so courageous that he, they carried him home on a stretcher, stretcher to recover in the family's castle. So it, it, he spent a long time recovering. It was a very bad injury. And while he was there, he wanted books to read. But books were very scarce at the time, and there were only two in the castle. One was on the lives of the saints, and the other was on the life of Jesus Christ. What he really wanted was romance novels. But he read the books. He also spent a lot of time daydreaming, and he was daydreaming about doing wonderful things for the fair lady of the realm. But he was also daydreaming about the saints, and he noticed that they were very brave too, and he wanted to be like them and do great things for God. He noticed a difference between these two kinds of daydreams, and he realized the thoughts about doing great things for God were from God because they made him energized and joyful and happy. And so he began to want to be like the saints and Jesus. This was the beginning of his conversion. He wanted to have a relationship with Jesus and he knew that Jesus wanted that for him too. Ignatius went on to establish the Society of Jesus, which we call the Jesuits. They were a group of holy men who believed that their Creator God was in everything that he created. He made popular a prayer that helped them to see God in their everyday lives. He was praying to the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And he called this prayer the examine. He told them that it was so important that they should pray it twice a day and never skip it. Today, many lay people pray this prayer once a day, in the morning, at night, or whenever it's convenient for them. He told them that the more they practiced it, the easier it would be for them to see God in all things. It is a way of reviewing the day with Jesus and seeing where God was in your day. And this is how it works. In a very simple way, the way we did it at the end of the third grade faith formation class. So at the end of the lesson, we moved to a separate place that was set aside for prayer. And we took a couple of deep breaths 
and invited Jesus to join us in that space with us. And we asked him to show us what we were grateful for that day. And don't answer out loud. Keep all these thoughts in your heart and talk to Jesus about it. What stood out today? Was it something good that happened? Something that I did? Something that someone did for me? Maybe I messed up. Maybe I could have been nicer or tried harder. Was there something that I was worried about? Tell Jesus and thank him or tell him that tomorrow you will try harder. What am I looking forward to tomorrow? Think about it and invite Jesus to join you in that event. And we ended with a simple prayer, the Hail Mary, or the glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Ignatius suggested closing with the Our Father. Use your imagination when you do the examine, sit with Jesus, or God the Father, or God the Holy Spirit. Talk with him as you would a friend. He wants to be your friend. He loves you so much. He will never stop loving you. He will always forgive you if you ask for forgiveness. Amen.